All right, we arrived to the control room. Time to start checking things out here and seeing what everything is. First, let's find everything that seems to be like a collectible. Things that we can pick up and poke around with. So far, lots of levels, levers everywhere. A laptop with a webcam. Interesting. A tablet on the side as well. Feels like something we might be able to pick up. A test tablet. We got a flash drive over in the computer. Not sure what we can do with it. Let's keep going through right here. The door to exit from. Looks like there's a few different books here. Uh, we've got some sort of dense techno things and a novel. Hmm. It doesn't look like there are any clues here though. I guess there aren't. A cardboard box! Filled with complicated machinery. Do you think we can use it? I don't even know what it is. Yeah, I don't know what it is either, girl. I don't know what it is either. We got this thing to unlock. I wonder if I can actually poke around and guess. Probably best not to. It's gonna be a bunch of combinations. We got a clock here. 1140 seconds. A red clock. It says 11,400 seconds on the face. Not sure why. Guess we'll have to figure out eventually. What, through one way or the other? One way or the. Oh, hold on. Numbers clipboard. 56179723681123442344. Interesting. That actually matches the clipboard that I saw earlier here. Can I combine these items? Interesting. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Well, so we'll see what it's gonna be like. Let's go back over here. What is this? A red uh, container here? With a protractor. And with a compass. Looks like there's something in, in the blue box. Let's see what it is. Compass. Expanded compass. Okay, so we got an expanded compass. I guess we're gonna have to make a... Radi uh, some sort of uh, we're gonna have to use the radial adjustments to uh, for the puzzle and stuff. Some cardboard boxes. There's machinery inside, but we don't know what it's for. Can't move any of the boxes. Okay, never mind. Just, damn, can't understand any of this. Some kind of code? None of these have anything useful. So much for that. Never mind. Looks like a lot of things, a lot of items in this game, particularly, are gonna be like just out in the open for us. A blue clock. It says 510 minutes on the face. That's a long time. I feel like we're gonna have to memorize this now. Let's go ahead and uh, erase everything here. And we'll write this down. Uh, five. That's a horrible five. Good lord. I had to practice my writing skills with uh, the mouse. Five, ten. Man. Alright, oh, that's a little bit better. I just gotta not think about it. It still looks absolutely atrocious. 100 for, uh, 11, 1100 for 400 seconds. Wait, 11,400 11, seconds. Four hundred seconds, uh huh. It's probably gonna be like a green clock or something. This seems to be open actually. Oh no, it's not open. Uh huh, ooh. Locker looks like the ones in the crew quarters. Even the puzzle pa uh, panel looks similar. Let's see here. Enter the code the press the enter button on the right. Hour, minutes, hour, minutes. Oh, look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. There's no built-in calculator in this game, is there? Nope, there's no built-in calculator, so you can't really use a calculator. We have to uh, try to figure this things out uh, on our own here. Let's go ahead and do some... Uh, let's go ahead and do this math. I haven't done, like, this kind of, like, handwritten math in forever here. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. 510 minutes. Let's go ahead and convert 510 minutes into hours and minutes. It has to be divided by 60. Um, it has to be divided by 60 every single time. In order, by 60 minutes. And 60 minutes is an hour, so that's what we're trying to do here. So, would be, would be able to. Okay, so we can subtract 60 out of 510, or 51. So we gotta go out of 510. Uh, the multiplier. Next. Okay, let's go ahead and cross off the zeros, right? Let's let's not even worry about the zeros right now. We don't have to worry about the zeros too much. 51, 6. Closest one would be 48. So 8 would be the number. Minus 48, 6 times 8 is 48. Right? Yeah. Is it? 
Yes, 48. Good. Just want to make sure. Sorry. Feels like I haven't done this kind of mathematics in forever. Three is going to be left here. Okay, so eight hours and three minutes. That's what it'd be. Eight hours and three minutes. So eight and three. Eight and three. Eight and three for this one. Now, 11, uh, 11,400 seconds. We need to do the same thing here as well. So let me do this here. There we go. We gotta do it twice here because we have to make sure we put it into minutes and then eventually put it into uh eventually put it into hours as well. So take away the zero, carry out the zero. Take away the zero, remove the zero. Uh eleven uh minus six, okay, that'll be just one. Six will be five. I wish I had like a. St I really wish. I need to get a stylus. I need to get a stylus for this kind of stuff. I'm not even kidding you. Stylus would be so much easier to write down notes like this. It'd be so much easier instead of using a uh, mouse. Okay, so carry all the four. 54. That'd be a nine. Huh? There we go. That'd be a nine. Minus 54. Be zero. And then that'd be a zero. So we got 190 minutes. 11,400 seconds, it will be 190 minutes, if I remember, if I understand correctly. And then we take that 190, right? We take that 190. And we divide it again by 60 all over again to figure out the hours and minutes. So carry, take remove the zeros. Uh, 60 and 6 and 19. 3 would be it. 3 hours minus 18 would give us one. So three hours and one minute. So this one would be three hours and one minute. Let me go ahead and do some outside calculations just to make sure my math is correct, just in case. I wanna make sure I'm not goofing it up a little bit. Okay, yes, I am correct. The only thing I gotta do is I forgot to add a zero here and a zero here because that is in minutes and everything. So I gotta make sure that is kept in on purpose there for the sake of this. So this will be 8 hours 30 minutes. This will be 3 hours and 10 minutes. That's what it is. Alright, let's give it a try here. 8, 30, and uh, 3, 10. 8, 30, 3, 10. First one is this. So it's 8, 6, and 2, 8. 30, 13 plus 70 is going to be uh, 30, then 3, 1 and 2 and 3, and then 10. That would be, that would be 4 and 6. Ta-da! That's what we get in. Very, very nice. I like this puzzle. That was pretty cool. You did it! It unlocked! See if you can open it. Yes, we will. We'll try to see what's inside. Oh! A rainbow tree root. Pretty sure it has something to do with these particular clipboards. I'm pretty, pretty certain it has something to do with these clipboards here. Not sure about this locker here. What have we got going on here? On and off, a small hole that looks like it was made with a needle. Do you think this is where it goes? Where it goes? Where what goes? I know this goes right here. She has on and off written on it with a bunch of times. There's a tiny hole in the middle of it, of the paper, that looks like it was made with a needle. So... I just put the compass needle in here, trace around, on, off, on, off, 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 off. Interesting. So you use the compass to make a circle. And now the circle touch- oh, good lord, hold on a sec. Did I just see an- Hope there wasn't a spider in front of my face. Ever, not sure if you all have experienced this, but I've experienced it before where a spider would just go from the ceiling and just like hang around in front of your face. I hope, oh my god, I hope it wasn't a spider. Good lord. Hold on a sec. Hold on, hold on. Oh shit, hold on. <laughs> Got him! Got him! 
live and recording. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe them onto the bed. Oh god. Oh, I'm not a fan of spiders, y'all. Oh. Just oh. Oh. Just thinking right now that there was a spider right on my face, and I could feel I could feel the web still. Oh god. I can feel the web steal my hair. That is oh that is not fun. That is not fun, y'all. I hate spiders. If those are like an instant spider repellent, I would invest money into it immediately to forever keep any place that I live in or work in spider free. But that's absolutely impossible. Oh well. Oh well. Let's keep on going then. Now the circle touches specific words. Maybe those words are a clue. Maybe they are a clue. Drew a circle and a compass. The words are past a clue. You know what we should do? What I should do is make a memo of this on the secondary page. Raise this memo. That's fine. Let's make a circle out of this. Well, I can manage to do it. Can I, can I manage to do this with a controller? I cannot. Oh boy, that was uh, absolutely awful. Oh boy, that was ter terrible. Try to do this with a hand here. Control this by hand. Okay. Wait, hold on. Do this now here. Just a straight line. No problem at all. Okay. Now, white, green. It's gonna equal white. Blue. It's gonna equal black. Just in case. Not sure if the coloration is gonna match or not. Or be necessary or not. But I might keep it here. F. N as on, off, on. I might as well just go ahead and add this together here. Off, on, off. Pretty sure that's gonna be something for me to remember here. Off, off. Pretty sure we gotta just worry about the things that are being, being touched on the edge and stuff, but still, I wanna make sure that I. Notch them down just in case. Never know if they're gonna be useful or not. Just in case. I might not worry about things on the outside, however. Then it's not gonna be that big of a deal. On. There we go. Off. Gonna take I'm gonna take my sweet time throughout this. I probably not gonna be that big of a deal, to be honest. Probably not that big of a deal, but I'm still gonna make sure that I draw this out just in case. Because I want to make sure that I have this not to jot it down just in case. Could be anything, could be of any importance for the future. Right, so we got that taken care of. Oh boy, what do we got here? Oh jeez. Alright. What's this? It's got all these pipes. Look at the black and yellow levers. It says power under it. Do you think this uh, TV has electrical cables in it, or something? Maybe flipping this levels will give us a change in, of the amount of electricity, uh, electrical currents. What would that accomplish? I don't know. Well, I'm guessing the power level is, is a source. Hmm. Might as well give it a... Oh wait, don't get ahead of yourself. Look at the 320. Oh. Lever's missing. Without a place, without a placement lever, I don't think we'll be able to do anything. Oh yeah, 320 is missing. So we gotta find something for 320 here to replace it with. Guess we're gonna need the power for this thing to power whatever the whatever's going in here. What is this thing? It's huge. I guess it's used to analyze things. It looks like it's missing a part though. Can we put the plants in? Hmm. I think I could put a rainbow color root here, but we can't analyze it. A rainbow color root. Put it on a machine. What do we do now? I'm guessing we need to turn it on through this, but we need to power to power this thing first. But before we can even power it, we need to toy with all this here, tinker with this a little bit. Uh, let's go back to the laptop a little bit. I feel like it's something we're gonna have to do with the laptop. Anything in there? What is that thing? An octopus. That's a pretty big octopus. Yeah, I take take yeah, I take all our lives to eat something that big. Don't eat it. Um, uh. I think that maybe that's an annihilation reactor. Annihilation? You mean like the bomb? Yes. 
The core of the annihilation bomb would work on the same principles. I think Fine knows a lot more uh, than me about those things, though. I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking this would be like a related to the bomb because it feels like it has the same kind of a coloration to it, right? It has this like purple weird anomaly color to it. This this entirety it just feels so foreign. So I feel like mm, I feel like it's gonna be something to do with the, the annihilation. Apparently, we might be right. Well, I wouldn't say that. I just picked up a few tidbits of information here and there. Tidbits, huh? If it is what Luna thinks, it should be pretty simple. There's going to be a bunch of matter and antimatter in there. Probably hydrogen and anti hydrogen bumping to one another. When they do it, they when they do they annihilate one another. That's where you get the name and release a bunch of energy. You can actually calculate how much energy by taking the mass mass defect and ah stop. Too complicated. You're saying that octopus thing is a machine that runs off of annihilation energy, right? Yeah, I'm messing up my lines entirely. Well, machine is a weird way to put it. It's more like an engine, like a steam engine or internal combustion engine. Just better. All of the electricity in this facility is generated by Mr. Octopus. So that would make this room. Yes, this is Mr. Octopus's control room. <laughs> Mr. Octopus's control room. Oh my god, Luna. Why you gotta be so cute? Why you gotta be so cute, girl? Oh. Oh. Hold on. On, off, on, off, off, off. On, off, on. Hey, I think you move these. Oh, you're right. It says off on the top and on and bottom. Hmm. The Sigma. What are you doing? Don't break it. Uh, no, I was. It wasn't me. I just felt. It just fell off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Well, it's off now, so no point in crying over spilled levers. Maybe you can use it somewhere else. Like where? Oh, it's the same thing for the power. Okay, yeah, we're going back to the power theme. We gotta put it in directly and uh, see if we can match the power outputs and stuff. That's gonna be pretty important for us to do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Huh? Just I literally just ran into it. Okay. If I just put it here. Good. There we go. All right. Now I guess we gotta mess with this thing. So what should I do with this thing? I'm guessing we gotta route the power to match the output and everything to match the uh, necessary outputs. I found a manual on the floor over there. It says this, this machine doesn't really use electricity in a conventional way. Huh? Those tubes use some kind of a special liquid to transmit electricity. Actually, it's pretty complicated. A simple version is that you can adjust the voltage by adjusting the flow of a liquid. So let's say you turn the rightmost lever all the way to the left. If you do that, then all the liquid coming from the 240 will go to the left tube. Turn it all the way to the right and it all goes to the right tube. What if you put it in the middle? Then it gets halved. Each pop will get which end up with 120 instead of one uh, instead of one getting 240. So what's the deal with these question marks? These represent unknowns and in target values. The one with the three question marks means it's supposed to be a three-digit number, while the other ones with only two mean that they are only two-digit numbers. And of course a single question mark means that the value of only a single digit. What about the one that starts with a three? Well, I guess that means that 100 digits has to be 3. So, question 4 question means that 10 digits has to be 4. And question question 5 means that 1 digit has to be 5, right? Yes, I think so. So let me see if I get this. We need to adjust the le lever so that the liquid gives us the right number on the bottom. That's correct. Once we got all these levers set, then I think we will pull down the power level like this. Ah, oh, makes sense. I think that's about covers it. Oh wait, one more thing. Liquid will only flow from top to bottom. The manual was very specific about that. Okay, let's do this thing. All right, let's give it a try here. First of all, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a memo and go to this page right here and erase it real quick because I don't think we're gonna need any of this stuff anymore. We're gonna have to try to figure this out. So this has gotta be a three here. This, if we split this here, it's gonna be a 120. Just wanna make sure we have it down pat. This is going to be 155 if you split this. 
just want to make sure it's correct here. Right, 20 if I split this. Uh, if I split this here, well, it depends on what they add. 320 is going to be uh, 160. 240 is going to be 120. So I want to make sure we understand the split here and everything. So I can uh, kind of, uh, kind of you know, base this out and everything. Oh, sorry about that. Bump into the mic there. My bad. My bad. Alright, so now we got this going on here. Uh, 120. You have to add to something else in order to uh, create three whatever three whatever. So let's say for example we keep this down in the middle, right? 120 will go down here and 120 will go down here. We got 120 multiplied going down this tube right here, 120. While these two will converge, 120 and 155 will converge to create 175. So this would be 175. We could get 175 to split halfway through. Or we could get it uh, to just go one way or the other. I'm guessing the best course of action would probably be to let it go one way or the other. And maybe also do the same thing for this as well, possibly. Maybe. Perhaps. Perchance. Perchance. But, but I don't know what, what I want to do with it just yet. We could just let it just kind of flow down to get... Uh, just flow down altogether, technically. Let's try this here together, though. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So this would be 175. 175 plus 120 would have to, we have to add these together in order for this to equal 300. But the problem is 175 and 120 would only equal 295, so it would not be even close to the ballpark of 300. So what we would have to do is, uh, hmm, now that I think about it, what if you put 210 and 120 together? So make this go this way: 210 and 120 flow together. To make 300. That's what we probably could try to do here. Unless we get 4 to 40 here and 175 to flow this way. Now this will be 175. This will be 155 at that point. Hmm. We can start from the right. The right might be a little bit easier. See, 120 right here. If you split this down, 120 will go this way and this way. If you take 120 over here and split this into half again, 120 will be. 120 is divided by 2 will be 60 actually, 60. So 60 will go in one way or the other. If I split this up, this will perfectly match it. So check mark here, I'm gonna mark it as a check mark with a green. So this will be good to go. Now, 60 will also go this way down here, so we have to figure out whatever combination we can make over here to make 140 whatever. 120 plus 60 right here, 120 going down this way, Plus 60 right here would equal, oh, these two together would equal, uh, two, no, this would equal 180. That's what this would be equal to, 180. To get a 40 over here, we'll need to add another 60. So if, let's say, for example, this is down the middle, 160, 180 plus 160 would equal 340 together. And that would equal 340. So we get a check mark this way. So if you leave this lever as is right now, 160 will be split down the middle and will go over here as well. What we need to do here is be able to combine pouring liquids in here and here. I'm guessing this means that anything can go in here. Honestly, any kind of number can go in here. Or this means only a single digit can go in here. If we, for example, turn the lever only this way, then this would equal zero, but that would be a single digit. So that would actually make sense if, he, if this would be a zero. Let's say, for example, hypothetically, this would be a zero, and check technically maybe this could be make this could make sense if only this this one digit, right? So we turn it this way. So the full 160 that will go here will also drop in here. So 160 will go in here. But we also gotta add it together with something else to equal uh, for it all together to equal. Uh, so there's a zero at the end. No, that yeah, that be that would that be fine. Then this will go here. This will go here. This will be 155, but you still have a five there, so that's good. That's solid. And this one, 240 plus 155, will be 300. Let me go ahead and erase that actually here. There we go. Will be 300, uh, 95, which will also be a check mark. All right, let's try this out here. So, here's what we're gonna do here. Okay, we're gonna work from down the middle. Down the middle, down the middle, 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 left, this we can leave, left, 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 middle, left, middle, 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 left, left, middle, left, let's try this, middle, 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 left, left, 
middle, left, middle. Oh wait, left, middle, left. Let's try this. There we go! Took us a while, but hey, we did it. Got to answer perfectly down, just like that. Yes, I am a champion. Look! There you go, now we should be able to do something here. And the screen is on, we can do something here. It turned the power on. Yep, and now I'll be able to investigate it and see what's going on here. I knew this was going to be important. I knew this was going to be important. Okay, let's figure this out here. Tall screen. It seems to be powered, but nothing happens when I touch it. Hmm. Can we do anything here? Can we press a button by any chance? The root. Look at that thing. I know, isn't it beautiful? Are you kidding? It's gross. What can we do with it? Hmm. This doesn't feel right. I think like we I think we're missing something. Okay, we are missing something, definitely. What are we missing here? Root. Shiny with the colors of the rainbow. We are missing something. Okay, so it has to be just it has to do something with these uh Panels and everything. Looks like control panel. It's covered with screens and buttons and so on. I guess we don't do anything with this. We gotta go back to the laptop. We gotta figure out what to do with the laptop first. Is there anything on this side here? Doesn't look like it. And let's go ahead and go deal with the laptop here for now. Laptop. It's got something on the screen. A T. It's a letter T. Huh. Alright. Do you see that thing plug plugged in the side of the laptop? Yeah. It looks like a memory stick. As a T on the screen. As something plugged into the right side of the laptop. I wonder what it is. I guess we can investigate the memory stick here. USB memory stick. Oh. Huh. Huh. Screen changed. Do you think it's because you pulled that thing out? Hmm. Let's try plugging this thing again. Oh. Interesting. Alright. So we'll plug it out. We see the webcam. Shown directly behind us about the clipboard, which we already picked up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're already picking up the clipboard, so it should be fine. Don't know why it would be on here, though. Hmm. Alright, okay then. Alright, so we gotta do something with this USB scanner here. Um, maybe combine the clipboards together. You cannot combine these items. Okay, gotcha. So we cannot combine these items, however. Can I combine any of this? I'm pretty sure. I wonder if we could take the flash drive to the other panel, however. Maybe, possibly. Maybe? Should we take it in here somewhere? Still seems to be missing something. Alright, so there's something I'm missing on this room. Let's go back to the laptop for now. Let's figure out what's going on with the laptop here for a little bit. See if we can do anything with it. There's a T on the screen. We gotta match it with this. The test. T on the screen. These things gotta be combined together somehow. It's a TEST. It's part of the TEST. So green, blue, yellow, and purple. That's what it is. Going from left to right. So it'd be 7213. Oh, hold on one sec. 7213, 7213, 7213. I think I know where we gotta go to this. A 7213, 7213, 7213. Gotta go back to lockers. 7213. 7213. Locker looks like one of the crew quarters. And the uh, puzzle panel looks similar. Let me go ahead and write this down here real quick. Oh, no, that's not what I need to write down. Uh, memo. 7213, 7213, 7213. I'm gonna write this down on here. Uh, 7213. This is what it seems like the password was from the items that I was able to find. Can we check the items? Not yet. Let's figure out how this works first. The four digit code. Okay. 7213. If I'm correct, 7213 should be the password. So we need to do something here, some additions, multiplications, subtractions, divisions, in order to make this work. 7, 2, 1, 3. 5 plus 2 is 7. Okay. Uh, 2 plus 0 is 2. One times 0 is 1. And 2 plus 1 is 3. Aha, uh -huh, failed. Okay, damn. I don't get it. I have four spots I need to fill. Put in the right numbers and press enter. Shoot unlock. Let's go through here. Okay, so it's green, blue, yellow, purple. Green is seven. Then it's three. Seven, three, one, four. 
It's not 7214 or 7213 that I had. 7314, that's what it is. 7314. So let me go back to the memo here. I don't know where I got 7213 from. So it's 7314. T E S T, 7314. Gotta match the colors with the lettering. Uh, lettering and the coloration. 7314. 7314. Let's go ahead and uh, do this puzzle again here. 7 is. 2 plus 5 is 7. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 1 times 0 is 1. 4 plus 0 is 4. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting I'm definitely getting something wrong here. Hold on one sec. 7, 3, 1, 4, yeah. 5 plus 2 is 7. 1 plus 2 is 3. Hmm. I need a 1. 1 times 0 is 1. Yeah, that would be it, right? Pretty sure that would be it. Yeah, pretty sure that would be it. 1 times 0 is 1. It has to be 7314. 7314, right? 7314. Let me go back here and look at the items real quick. Okay, so... Blue, uh, no, green, blue, yellow, purple. Green, seven. Blue, three. Yellow, one. Yellow, one. Four, purple. Seven, three, one, four. No, it's seven, three, one, four. Exactly. EST, seven, three, one, four. Yeah, it will be 7304, wouldn't it? Yeah. 7304, numbers clipboard. 7314. And over on a laptop, even said like there was T on there, right? Let me go back here real quick. Yeah, it says T on there. There's a T on the screen. T on the camera. T on the screen. Remember the flash drive, it gives us this. Give the clipboard. Yeah, I know about the clipboard. Oh, USB scanner yellow. Oh, shit. Hey, the screen's blue now. This is... What? Hmm. Looks like a password. You think it's for the panel and safe? I assume so. Did we just find it? Wait, did we just find it? Safe. Looks like the one I saw in the AB room in the infirmary. To put a password should open. Looks like it works the same too. No. No. No way. Oh, it's a cake. Find a gold file to view it. Visit the secret tab in the archive. Wait, is that it? Oh. Maybe that's a secret thing. I don't know, actually. Is it? Gold file. Password input device. EMC. Yeah, I remember this now. I remember this now. Swimsuit. Not sure obsessed with swimsuits. Why is that? Was he involved in a horrible swimsuit accident? Now repressed in his youth. Did he have a crush in high school and a girl on the swim team with a well, oblique as aspiration? Uh, had an impossible romance? Is he just part of the world? We never know. Interesting. Guessing that's what the secret is for. Maybe it's supposed to be a file. I don't know. We'll find something neat though. We'll find something cool. So that's kind of cool. I don't think that's the right thing, however. So we gotta use a flash drive with the uh, thing here to combine it together. Green. What will green give us? Look at the screen. Huh. It changed. 7213. That's what it must be. That's what it must be. Okay. That's probably what it must be. Let's try this here. 7213. That's probably what it is. 7213. So we gotta do this here. 7213. That's probably what it is. 
There we go. That's what only gave us a green test letter. So it wants us to just do the green the green letters. Seven, two, or oh, the green numbers. Seven, two, one, three. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try to make this here. Okay. Two plus five is seven. Two plus zero is two. One times zero is one. One plus three is uh one plus two is three. Failed. Still not. Shoot. What am I supposed to press the buttons in? I thought I was right. Seven two one three, yeah. Goes from left to right. Seven two one three, right? Let's go investigate that real quick. I'm gonna go to the clipboard for now. See what I can find. Gotta be something. It has to be. It has to be a hint here. Seven two one three. And if you look at the clipboard, seven two one three, yeah. We'll take the flash drive combined with something else. Nope. It either goes to yellow or green. Yellow does nothing for us. 7213. Yeah. That should be it, right? I think. 7213. I'm getting a, I'm probably getting something wrong there with accommodations and everything. 7213. 7213. Let's go and try this again here. 7213. 7213. 5 plus 2 is 7. 2 plus 0 is 2. 1 times 0 is 1. Yeah, anything times 0 is 1 still. So never, so it still see the same. And then 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. Nope, still not it. I need to try to figure this out. I don't know what it is. Maybe there's a different combination I gotta try. Okay, let's try this. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7213. 5 plus 2 is 7. 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 divided by 2. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to check something. Multiply things by 0. Does that equal 1 or 0? Good lord, I feel like that's something I should know. 1 times 0. That's what it is. Everything times zero is always gonna be zero, not one. Why am I an idiot? Why am I an idiot? Things divided by one would equal things divided by zero would equal one. That's what it gotta be, I think. Maybe. Alright, so let's so do this here. Two divided by two is one. And then we have uh three. One plus two is three. There we go. Wow, I'm an idiot, yo. That was on me. That was my bad. Excellent. Unlocked. Good work. Now open it up. Ooh. This cheap part. Oh, I know we gotta put it on this now. We gotta put this on here now. Attach it here. On top. The root. It's shiny with all colors of rainbow. Huh. Looks like it will fit. Here we go. Um. Nothing's happening. Hold on. It's... Oh shit! It's moving! Looks like it's finally ready. But ready for what? Well... Ready for you to use this, I'm guessing. The screen? Yeah. I think. Let's try using the screen then. See what happens. I think I've got it! This machine is a CT scanner. You mean like from a hospital? Yes. One of those things that can take pictures of cross section of your brain and organs and stuff. Yes. It can Im Im uh, it can image things other than human body too. Like this root for instance. Uh-huh. Hmm. So what we're seeing on the left is a slice of that root. I think so. What are we supposed to do with it? Sorry, but about freaking. There's a there's a little gnat in my room, flying around. Sometimes likes to just fly in front of my face for no reason. God, it's the most annoying thing ever. I swear. I swear. I like. I literally don't have anything open here. Like I've closed empty water bottles. That's all I have. Oh God. I wanted to get cold so that all the bugs just die off. I'm not even kidding you. It's getting annoying. I think trial and error is going to be the best the best way to figure this this one out. 
Just start. Uh, oh wait, no, that's the wrong voice there. Whoops. I think trial and error is going to be the best way to figure this one out. Just start messing with it, and we'll see what happens. All right. Hold the A button down and press the left stick up and hold down where the image on the root is. Display it to scroll between layers. The bottom layer has eight circles of different colors. Four of those circles are blank. Assign an appropriate number for each circle. Numbers you can use are display below. Cross section. Grab a number with A button and move it with the left stick. Here goes nothing. Alright, so we can move this up and down. A hundred. So it all equals a hundred in total. Three fifths, four sixths, six twentieth, and then whatever. Gotcha. Oh, three fifteenths. Three fifteenths. So there's a hundred. A hundred divided by fifteen times three. That'd be mm, that'd be something to definitely be in tune about. A hundred divided by sixteen times four. Ooh. So that's gonna equal together into whatever sum. And six out of six twentieth is gonna be another thing as well on its own. Oh boy. Alright. Well the best way I can find is to find the uh lowest common denominator. That's what we have to do here. To find the lowest common denominator between 16, 15, and 20. That's what we're gonna have to do here. Hmm. Now to find the common denominator for that is gonna be a little bit tricky. Let me since the game doesn't have like an in-game built-in calculator, I'm just gonna use calculator on my phone here. So 16, let's see, times two. Okay, so that's what we got going on here. So we got 15 over 60, 15 over 60, 18 over 60, and 12 over 60. If we take that and further go down here to the bare bottom portion here, then what we have to do at this point is take 100 of the original, divide by, uh, divide by, divide by 60, 100 divided by 60, and then multiply by the fraction that we got over here. So like yellow is 15. So 100 divided by 60 times 15 would be 25. So we gotta get numbers that equal 25 here. 19 plus what would equal 25? It would be 6. So let's take 6 over here and drag it in. Then we continue further to the red here. 12, uh, 12 over 60. 100 divided by 60 times 12. We would get 20. 12 plus what would equal 20 would be 8. Good. There we go. Then we'll go over to the green here just to make it discontinue with the pattern here. 100 divided by 60 times 18. We will get 30. 21 plus 1 will equal 39. There we go. And last but not least, the same pla uh, same plan would be for the uh, the other side, for the blue side, 15 out of 60. 100 divided by 60 times 15 would be 25. 15 plus 10 would equal 25. Ta-da! Lots of mathematics, lots of mathematics, but it's all worth it, sort of worth it towards the end. It's just Try to figure out and break it down from the start. This is like the kind of stuff that I would do constantly in high school. But as I progress in college and finish calculus on my second uh, year, afterwards you don't care for it anymore. You just don't care for it whatsoever anymore. Surprisingly, I still remember a lot of this stuff. Huh. Looks like I got it. You sure did. That's amazing. Good work. Well, would you look at that? The color changed. Hmm. I wonder. Have a look, Sigma. This is... I knew it. You've seen a password like this like this before, haven't you, Luna? Yes. In the AB room, in the infirmary. It will open the safe, right? Yeah. Alright, sweet. Let's see what we can... Can I not look at it? I guess didn't get the ability to look at it. Let's see here. Safe laboratory. That's not it. Instead of control room, that's what it is. That's what it is. Okay, so it's uh, left middle star, very center sun, right below with moon. Star, sun, moon. In like a, almost like a bottom box shape. Okay, gotcha. Sounds good. We can deal with that. Alright, well, now we're done with this particular area. I am so happy that we are fully done. Let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. Star, sun, moon. And we got, even got a secret. We even got a secret, which is nice. Very, very nice. Yes, it opened. What's this? Okay, let's get our prizes. First we got... A map. It says floor B. The one we found in the creek quarters said floor A. So did the one in the infirmary. Hmm. We came down here using an elevator, right? So that would make A the top floor. 
It seems weird. Don't the numbers usually count up from the bottom floor? Well, look at it this way. A for above, B for below. Why does that seem ominous? Whatever. Moving on. Our next price is... Let's see. Key cards. That were moon on them. That means those are the moon cards the announcer was talking about. Now we can play the next AB game. Give us two, just uh, just like with the sun cards. I'm a solo, so I'll take one. That's fun with you guys. That's fun with you guys, right? Sure, go for it. I've got two other things left. I've seen one of them before, but this one is some kind of input device. It has a keyboard on it and a cable connected to the top. We can worry about that later. This is the way. This is the thing that's gonna get the. Uh, that's gonna let us enter the bob code, isn't it? Might as well take it with us for now, though. And finally, the key. We can get out of here. We can get out now. Yeah. Let's shoot and lock the exit. There we go. No more screwing around. Let's move. Okay. The uh, the pad though, the thing that we found, that's go probably gonna let us unlock the. Uh, uh, or like at least uh, hack or at least figure out the code for the bomb, right? That's probably what it's gonna be. The door's lock. It says lock. Okay, let's go. Yes, let's. I agree. Three, two, one. And we're out. And we are out. Oh my god. Oh my lord. I gotta say, a lot of these rooms take forever for me. I'm not gonna lie. I probably should be a little bit faster with them.